Good afternoon and welcome to the Weekly 10 Show and um, the first step. I hope you're all having a great afternoon. Um, this week, during the week, I was reading um, on Instagram, it was a, a, a meme or a, or a post, and I started reading through the comment section. And this meme basically said that um, we it stated that we, once we control our emotions, we control our thoughts. And it made me think that. And, and I looked at the comments and I was like, literally hundreds of people agreeing with this statement. And I just thought to myself, well, it's just not true. Um, you're all agreeing with this statement like it's, it's gospel and it's not true. We don't control our emotions in order to control our thoughts. Um, and it did surprise me how many people um, believe that. Because, um, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense to me. So, it's the other way around, essentially. You control your thoughts in order to control your emotions. So, you don't control your emotions to control your thoughts. So, if you believe that, I'm sorry, I've got news for you. Um, but firstly, it, it, if, if, if we want to feel a certain way, then you have to think a certain way as well. And so, in order for us to control that, you obviously have to control how you think first. So that's that's um, the main thing that stuck out for me when I was looking at these things here to, um, around the subject that we're now looking at today, which is the first step to mastery. So by learning how we do this, um, you have complete control over literally everything that you feel and everything that you experience. And that comes down to um, one thing, one thing only, awareness. And it's an awareness of your thoughts. So when you're aware of what you're thinking, you're also aware of what you're feeling. And that is the key really to how we want to feel. So if you're feeling a way you don't want to feel and your thoughts are um, providing you with the ammunition to feel that way, then the key is really to start becoming more aware to how you can sort of, uh, well, influence that by changing your, your perspectives and your thinking so the big question really is how do we do this because the thing is we all um, find ourselves in situations which consume us take us over and before we know it we've lost uh, sight of where we are and sight of our thoughts and we allow our unconscious to basically dictate how we want to feel how we show up in life in everything we do so and we sort of go go into sort of uh, an autopilot mode and allow our unconscious to sort of dictate everything we feel and 90% of the time that's what we do 10% of the time we're aware of what we're doing 9% 90% we're not so um, if you're feeling um, a way that you don't want to then that is because your emotions are directly linked to what you think so that's the that's the thing we have to understand it's not the other way around as that meme wrongfully <laughs> stated so if you if you're telling yourself I feel like crap then guess what you're gonna feel like crap in you so it's natural to be um, uh, to become aware of your thoughts it's natural that you're gonna then uh, start thinking things that are gonna be some more supportive of how you want to feel instead so that's uh, as I said the first key to where we want to really become be going in terms of mastery and performing at our potential really and, uh, and performing um, consistently as well so um, our feelings and emotions tend to come directly from unconscious thoughts so they could be from things such as uh, past beliefs um, past conditioning things we've seen on the news what friends tell us what we think what we think is happening uh, in any given situation so it doesn't necessarily be anything really serious it could be anything minor situation so even if you're you know you, you believe something that your mum told you when you're 10 years old that belief might not be serving you now so but what happens is is when we live in our unconscious minds and we allow the unconscious to current to dictate how we show up in life that belief that you might have developed when you're 10 years old will come back and keep presenting itself in in, in different scenarios so unless you change that belief to something that actually serves you right well now currently it will keep doing so every time you switch off from the awareness back into the unconscious so um, there was a good uh, a very good um, quote by Carl Jung which said until you make the uh, unconscious conscious it will direct your life and you will call it fate and that is very true because 
you know, we do. We spend the majority of our lives living either in the past and the future, never in the moment. And that's when we're, in, we're living in the unconscious because the past and the future is not now, is it? It's, it's, it's in your mind. So, therefore, we, we become um, conscious in our thinking. We choose what we think. We actually decide what we think. And we balance that over uh, uh, through conscious choice by deciding, um, looking at the picture from an objective, non-judgmental perspective. We then look at it from, um, see it from different views um, to what we might have originally thought. So if you don't want to feel those emotions which are holding you back from enjoying life and uh, uh, in the way that you really should be, you know, connecting your purpose, passion to whatever you want to do in life, then you, uh, to become aware of your thinking and practice it, practice it, because it's not easy to do. We all, we all fall back into the subconscious, even I, I mean, everybody does. So it's natural to do that. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's a case of just being, training your mind, training yourself to actually start becoming more aware of the thinking and start uh, understanding that whatever you might think initially, whenever something happens, isn't necessarily what's really actually going on. It's usually born out of something that's happened in the past, past experience, that sort of thing. So, awareness is the very, very first step to mastery in all areas of your life. So, I'll give you a couple of different um, uh, examples of aspects of awareness, because there's so many different ways of looking at awareness. It's not just one basic thing. Um, you've got self-awareness, which is basically your beliefs, your thoughts, how you feel, um, emotional responses to things, um, all, uh, your energy levels, all things like that. So um, then there's the awareness of reality. So that would be something more like about what's actually happening versus what you think is going on in, in any given situation. Um, awareness of the presence of others. And that means including the energy and influence of those around you. So anything that's going on around you, being aware of who's around you and everything that's around you at that, any given time. So if you're walking down the street, for instance, being aware of who's around you, being aware of what's going on around you. Um, awareness of the environment. And that's quite self-explanatory. It's just understanding your environment and your role in that, really. Um, and finally, you've got your um, awareness of choices and options. And that's a biggie because basically we're aware we're, we've got choice and options every single in every single situation. But we often tell ourselves we haven't, and um, that's because we're not aware of those choices and options because we've closed our mind off to them because we're allowing ourselves to think from past conditioning which is telling us one thing which is not necessarily really what's going on. So, um, with the core energy coaching process, you will learn um, how to uh, how your thoughts create your reality initially um, and what how they dictate how you feel and how you react to anything that goes on in your life. So, if you're um, if you're going through a situation and you and it's a negative, a, situ a hard situation, a difficult situation, you can choose then how you react to it. You can choose to be a victim to it, or you can choose to see it as an opportunity. It's all about awareness and understanding how you show up. So you don't have to be a victim to circumstances. You can choose to use those circumstances to benefit you, and that all boils down to one thing: awareness. Awareness of being able to choose what you think in any given opportunity, in any, any given um, situation. So. Um, yeah, when you work with a coach, um, you also learn um, about the obstacles that we put in front of us. Uh, and again, this is all down to awareness. It, we, we create obstacles. We um, put them in front of us. It could be a fear, a limited belief, or whatever, which I've discussed in previous shows, as you, you probably have seen. Um, and these stop us moving forward. So we'll learn to, and you'll begin to practice all elements of this process, um, which when brought together, can help you create the life that you want to live, basically. So, um, practicing being consciously aware of your thoughts today, try doing that today, and then whenever you think of something which is uh, leading to a negative emotion, um, stop. Just stop what you're doing, breathe, and then consider the possibility that the, the, the thought that you're telling yourself isn't really the, what's going on. And then ask yourself the question, what is going on? You know, what could be going on? Even if it is your initial thought, what else could be going on? So there's always other options and other choices that you can look at. And you'll be surprised how powerful your thoughts are. Because um, when you do actually properly, and I mean properly, it's all very well us saying let's practice awareness, but unless you actually do it, um, this doesn't change. So, you know, practicing awareness, you'll be very surprised how quickly your perspectives change on pretty much everything. So, 
yeah, that's what I wanted to discuss today. The first step in the core, the ten core disciplines um, towards master, um, which create mastery when learn, practiced, and become. And awareness is the pinnacle. So once we get that out of the way, once we learn how to do that, once we know what we're doing and we're fully aware of our thoughts, and believe me, I've had to check myself three or four times today. You know, it's easy to fall into that unconscious mind and then find yourself thinking unhelpful stuff. So that's what uh, um, we should all be practicing awareness. Finally, I'd just like to wrap up by asking, um, again, thanking people for um, signing up for my new email newsletter this week. Um, I'm going to leave a little box in the, in the comment section so anyone else who wants to sign up there's loads of uh, new stuff on there I'm putting together a four week group challenge which starts at the end, uh, beginning of April um, so there'll be exclusive in, in, uh, information about that on, in the newsletters over the coming weeks so if you want to subscribe pop your email address in the box at the bottom and for now have a great weekend and I'll be back next week um, with the next step in the process so look forward to seeing you then bye bye